Good morning, everybody. Paloma here in California, and I, I really want to share this with you guys. So as you know, I'm running for Congress. I have uh, been campaigning in Los Angeles in my district over the last few days, just uh, you know, trying to get everything done, getting on the ballot for, uh, for the June 7th primary election. And I was, I was out here yesterday, not in my district, outside of my district, I was uh, picking up one of my volunteers. Um, I happened to be at an intersection near USC in downtown Los Angeles, where I found two, uh, two lost pit bulls. This is one of them. I found two lost pit bulls, right, crossing the street, all, as I thought, almost getting hit by cars. So I literally ran out there in the middle of the street, I had to stop traffic because it's such a third world area that people weren't even stopping for them, right? They were, they just kept on going. Nobody cared that they were two dogs running in the middle of the street, right? So I ran out there. I literally ran across the street, uh, stopped traffic, got them off the road, went, you know, I had no leashes. I had to go back to the gas station where my car was at, um, get the car, turn around, come back and get them. Well, anyway, it turns out one of them had already been hit by a car, okay? I'm at the hospital right now waiting for the doggy to be seen, right? So, but anyway, last night, the dog was in so much pain. It was crying all night. I mean, it was bad, okay? Bad, crying all night. But listen to this, okay? As I call a clinic last night, I was by myself at this hotel, and this just upsets me so bad, because I'm such an animal lover and this upsets me so bad. And this is what I'm going to fight for. Okay. Because this, we cannot allow this guys. I could not take this dog into a clinic last night by myself because I was not vaccinated. The dog was in so much pain. It was screaming. She didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. And we could not go to a clinic by myself because I'm not vaccinated. I mean, they talk about discrimination. They talk about segregation. They talk about the, all the things they talk about. And this is what they're doing to us. I could not take this dog to the clinic until I was able to get a hold of one of my volunteers this morning to help me and, uh, and come with me because they are vaccinated, okay? But since I was not vaccinated, I had to sit there and watch this dog in pain all night, unable to take it to the vet because I'm not vaccinated. And um, it's just so upsetting. It really is, you know? And it's upsetting for me right now because of the dog, because of the pain. But on, as you know, as you guys know, it's, uh, I mean, that's a big deal to me. But this is, this is beyond a, a, a dog issue. This is beyond, you know, this is beyond, um, you know, me and my, my love for animals. This is, the, this is, our rights are being stepped on. Our rights are being violated. I could not go to a vet last night in the middle of the night. I had to run to Walgreens in the middle of the night, okay? I had to run to uh, get whatever over-the-counter medicine I could find for this dog because it was literally screaming in the middle of the night because she couldn't sleep, because she couldn't get comfortable. And uh, obviously, I didn't sleep either, you know? And, uh, it, and, and it just, I don't know if, if, if God just made me go through this right now so that I fight for this with even more passion than ever before, because it just hits so close to, you know, to, to home to know that I'm sitting at a hotel with a dog who's screaming in pain, whose owners, I don't know who the, who the owners are. I'm not, I have no idea. It turns out she, she's chipped. They can't get a hold of the owners. I'm literally sitting here at the hospital, at the parking lot in the hospital waiting for her. She's being seen. And, uh, and I could not take her last night to get any, any type of treatment, any type of shot, any type of pain medicine, any type of anything, not even just to find out what was wrong with her, um, because I refused to get a shot into my body. Okay. They said, no, you can't come in if you're not vaccinated. And I had nobody else to come with me until this morning when I was able to call one of my volunteers and meet with them and finally, uh, get her here. To a different place not the one from last night okay um yeah so anyway i just wanted to share that with you guys it's very upsetting and i want you to know that i will never stop fighting for this because thankfully for me uh when it comes to my animals as you guys know my animal rescue is in tijuana and uh and you know mexico 
Mexico, we wouldn't allow this in Mexico. We would, we would, I think, like, I think if it really came down to this, these types of situations, uh, even, I hate to say this, but even people like the cartels would not allow it. Okay. This is, this is an absolute violation, absolute violation and, uh, of our constitutional rights of every civil right. No one should tell us what to inject into our bodies so we could take a dog in pain to a vet in the middle of the night, okay? Uh, especially when we don't know the side effects, especially, especially when there has been so many people that have been reported to have adverse reactions. And I want you to know that this is something that I'm gonna be fighting for because what I went through last night, I, I mean, again, thankfully, I, I'm an hour and a half away from Tijuana. I was literally getting ready to put the dog in the car and drive to Tijuana. I texted one of, like I said, one of my volunteers and they said, we'll get her there first thing in the morning as soon as we can. But I was literally getting ready to take the dog and take it to Tijuana so she could get uh, medicine for her pain. But anyway, I just, I wanted to share that with you and I want you to know that it's something that I, I'm gonna be fighting for with everything I've got because no one, no one should go through what I went through last night and what this dog is, is going through because of our government, okay? Thank you so much guys, bye-bye.